Morning guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm taking the motor back off the mill. The new gear is supposed to get here today. This is the 3D printed version uh, that I did. This is the second one that I have on, had on it. Um, this is the one that's still working. Um, just kind of looking at it for wear. And then uh, I think I'm gonna take that pinion off of there and clean that up a little bit with the file. I think that it probably got a chip or something up in here and that's why I think the first one failed, the original gear. Uh, but uh, then I thought I'd show you this uh, here too, the modification that I did to, to this. Um, the way they wire this thing, it's got these fuses that poke out the back of this control box here. This is where the, uh, there's the front panel that goes on. And uh, number one, these things are kind of a pain in the ass to get to just because they're on the back. I've got my mill up against the wall basically, so I have to do some shenanigans to uh, pull it away from the wall. It's on a rolling cart. Um, you can see it here. And then I uh, prop it up with those legs just to keep it more stable. But it's kind of a pain in the ass for me to pull it away from the wall. So number one, this thing being mounted out the backside uh, is a pain. I had an issue the other day, but it was a different thing. But I thought it was a fuse, so I had to check fuses, and uh, it was a pain to get to them. So this one is the one that goes to the motor. This version of the mill has two fuses back there. So I, uh, when I took this thing apart when the gear failed, I clipped the wire here, and then I installed a connector, which I then slide heat shrink over it when I'm ready to put it back together. So I clipped that there. The other end of this goes to the speed uh, to the forward reverse switch. It's uh, the actually the black wire there. Um, let's see, you don't need to unhook that one. It's the white wire that goes to the motor. So the the motor wires go through the fuse and then that goes to the to the switch and then the white wire goes to the fuse. So anyway, long story short, if I quit rambling here, um, I can pull the white wire out of there, unhook my connector here, and then I can pull that motor the motor wires out through the small hole that's up in there that you're not going to be able to see and, and it comes out up here and then I can uh, then the motor's free otherwise you're kind of dangling uh, from the motor wires which is not good um, and anyway I uh, I did not install this back where it was I just uh, since I had it clipped and I was able to undo that other wire from the switch I just pulled it clear out the back side put some tape over that hole and then I just leave this thing dangling loose inside the box. So if I have a fuse issue, uh, I'll have to pull the front panel off. But that's way easier for me to pull the four screws out of this panel and uh, to get in there to look at that fuse. Um, I thought about uh, trying to drill a hole and mount it. I could drill a hole out the bottom maybe or uh, some other place and remount that so that it's external. But it's not a big deal. I've never had a problem with fuses on this thing. so. I'm not too concerned about it. It's, it's so easy to take that panel off if I need to. But uh, that's the gear. I'm going to kind of, today I think I'm going to look at uh, my options for trying to do belt drive. I still really want to do belt drive. What I'm kind of thinking I'll do is um, put a, make a pulley for here and a pulley for here and then try to find a belt that will fit. I'd like to try to use quarter inch wide belt. And I found several different uh, the, the little machine shop has a conversion kit. It's for the smaller mills. This is they don't have something for this size mill, but what they use is a quarter inch wide belt. And I don't think it needs to be a great big belt. I, I think a lot of guys are using like half inch belting and then the flat belt. And I, I don't know. I'll I'll find out. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I'm gonna try it with quarter inch belt if I can find one. I kind of. Need to get outside to the, get out to the store today and see if I can find one. I'd like to have one in my hand before I start cutting a pulley because it needs to match the grooving. Uh, but that's uh, that's kind of my plan. I don't know if uh, um, if I was uh, if I finish the story here. What I'm thinking is uh, that I will initially maybe try to do this pulley and this pulley, and then that way uh, it's not a full direct drive basically. So it would be direct from this from that motor pulley. To a pulley that's on here that eliminates all of the gears but what i think i might try is to do a pulley here and here and then this drives the internal gears that still exist inside of here that drives the spindle that way i still have um, gear selector for high and low that'll probably quiet it down a little bit since 
the other gears are inside. I think it's a little bit quieter in there, but um, ultimately I would also, I would still like to do a, a conversion here, but I'd, I'm not sure how I want to do this yet because to maintain spindle, see how the that goes up and down, you can't, you can't just put a pulley on here because if you want the quill to be functional, that has to be free to move up and down. And uh, that's the dilemma for guys like me that I'm not, my current intention is not to go to CNC. Um, all the guys that convert these to CNC, usually they don't care about having a quill because they're putting a stepper motor up here and then the CNC controls that so they don't need to have a quill. They're, they're using programming to, to run the head up and down on the main ways on the, on the dovetail. Anyway, rambling on and on. That's that's the mod there. Um, probably one of the better things I've done here, but uh, we'll uh, see when that gear comes what I do. I may just end up putting gears back on it, but I'm going to pull that brass pinion off of there and clean that up a little bit. And uh, we'll see. I'll try to take some video if I make pulleys and, and find a belt, and uh, I'll show you that. See you next time.